Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Under the Spotlight. In today's episode, I'm going to be highlighting some key cards from the Ninja Archetype that I think are very splashable and can revitalize a lot of decks that people are not looking at. First things first. Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. Level 4, 1800 that when he's normal summon, you can add a Ninjutsu Art card from the deck to your hand. This includes the traps and spell cards that nin ninjas can play. Obviously speaking though, these are your two main targets, depending on what deck you're playing. How it's useful? Well, Hanzo gets it to your hand. You play Hanzo, you set the trap, your opponent's turn. If they play a monster that you're worried about and or causes a problem, you suck it up with your trap card, kill your Hanzo in the process, and bring out a boss monster that they can't deal with now. There's two things I thought of using Art of Super Transformation for. Was one, Horus level 6, because it's hilarious to bring out a uh, spell negating monster who can become level 8 and combining them with everyone's least favorite deck Chaos Dragons. Now think about it, the ninjas already support the Chaos archetype. They play dragons. This guy is a bitch to get out. Well now you get him out for free. Pretty helpful. He fills up the graveyard, causes big plays, and really works. It's something you guys should look into and try building. The second thing I thought of combining the ninjas with is Dragoonities. Yeah, I know. I haven't actually built it, it's all in theory, but again, special summons any dragon from the deck. Flanks is a bitch, we need flanks out. So this is a good card. It can also get you Aklas and or any other dragon tuners from the deck. It has potential. Alternatively, we can play this, which lets us special summon a winged beast from the deck. Again. Obviously there's good targets and there's bad targets, but there's a guy who's level 5 and when he is summoned You can equip a Dragonity Dragon Tuner from the deck to him. He comes in the starter deck and He's pretty big. The only problem is the fact that you know when you draw him He has to be normal summoned and then he gets his awesome effect in Dragonities. It's very hard to pull this off But using this card is a great way. So one it equips flanks to him it also gives you access to level 7 synchros, which before is really difficult for the Dragonity archetype. It's unique, it has potential, and you guys could try it out. That's obviously not the best thing you can do, but again, it's kind of cool, and it can really disrupt your opponent's plays. The last thing I wanted to talk about was Harpy's Feather Duster. I can't understand why no one is playing this card. Has anyone actually read it? It destroys all of your opponent's spell and trap cards for the cost of just this one card. I understand Harpy cards aren't very popular, no one plays Harpy ladies, but you know, maybe you could tech this in your deck, maybe it'll help you guys out. So you know, give it a try, hopefully you can find one, I, I've heard they're quite hard to find. You know, give it a try, good luck, maybe you should invest in some ninjas, maybe you should invest in some dragon starter decks, because to be honest with you, everyone else thinks it's pretty crappy, I've been fooling around with it, I kinda like it. So you know, give it a try, look into it, it's got a great it's got a great amount of cards in it that, you know, previously were difficult to find that you've gotten reprinted in this starter deck. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.